What's up, guys? Spider here. Sorry about uh, the lack of updates on uh, Clash of Clans the last few days for you guys. I've been quite busy with stuff. It was a weekend, family time, you know, that sort of thing. But I uh, wanted to bring an update to you guys on where my base is at. And we're going pretty well here. We're going pretty well. We have almost everything upgraded. We're on our last, our last archer tower right here. And that'll be finished in uh, just over 20 hours. Uh, I'm upgrading the second of two air defenses, so that'll be done. And then air defenses are done. Wizard towers are done. We're on the last uh, cannon. So the, the all the cannons will be done. There are five of them. <coughs> Excuse me. My um, my mortars are all finished. And I only have the one wizard tower left. And then I have one of these hidden Teslas left. Now, the hidden Teslas, man, they take forever. It's uh, one and a quarter million and four days to upgrade it to level two. But then you have a level three upgrade also. And uh, my spreadsheet, when I was looking last week, I didn't include that second upgrade. But it's six days. It's six days to upgrade it from level two to level three. So in my updated spreadsheet, I think um, my Town Hall 8 won't actually get, be complete now until September 8th. I think I was looking at a September 6th date. But it's looking like September 8th is when I will have my Town Hall completely upgraded. Therefore, I mean, it's an eight-day upgrade, right? Eight-day upgrade on uh, Town Hall level 8. So on uh, September 1st, uh, or the 31st is basically when I'm going to be uh, hitting that upgrade and uh, we get a bunch of uh, bunch of cool things here the uh, the dark elixir drill I definitely want to get going but uh, a few more defense structures here on uh, town hall more when I get there to town hall level eight um, what else can I say the other things that I need to upgrade are all my my gold mines and elixir collectors and I have decided that I will remain on track with upgrading all of them um, before I get to and achieve that Town Hall level 8. On the research side, I have almost everything completed. Uh, the only things that I have left... Well, I guess there are quite a few things. I wouldn't say almost everything completed. Uh, I'm working on the Rage spells, and I do have some balloon attacks that I want to bring you guys. I have some pre-recorded from, uh, from a few days ago, and I want to bring them to you. So my base is going to be a little less advanced than you see today, but I'll bring that to you tomorrow. Um, so I'm trying to get my Rage spell upgraded, and uh, those balloon attacks, I did use Rage, but it was a level 1 Rage. So I have upgraded to level 2, and I'm currently in progress to level 3. And I think that's... I don't know if you go to 4. I think you can go to 4, actually. Yes, you can go to 4, because I think it's like a 5-day upgrade to 4. Um, I also have plans to upgrade my minions. And the only reason I'm going to upgrade my minions is because I'm going to have an excess of Dark Elixir. Right now, I'm at 7,464, and I can use that 10,000 while I have it to upgrade the minions. And by the time I do get to Town Hall Level 8 on September 8th, um, you know, my, my plan is to have accumulated another, you know, filled up the Elixir storage, so that or Dark Elixir storage. So I ha do have 20,000, and once I get to... Town Hall 8, my first upgrade is going to be the Dark Elixir Storage, and once that's done, then all I need is another 2,500 in order to upgrade my Barbarian King to level 6, alright? So that's that's the first uh, the first order of things once I get to Town Hall level 8. Um, outside of that, I don't really have... I mean, we could do a live attack. I do want to show you a defense um, because I've been attacking mostly for uh, mostly for resources, and I've been going up, I was going up in trophies, and some of the guys that I attacked are like, you know, level 9 town hall, level 10 town hall, so let's take a look at this guy, I mean, you can see what he attacked me with, this guy is obviously level 10, um, I think I attacked him for resources, uh, Casper69, let's go back and look, I don't, I don't know if I did very well in the attack for resources, but let's see if we can find him in the log, uh, we probably won't be able to show a replay, but we could probably find him, no, Okay, he's, he's, oh no, he's right there, he's number two. So, yeah, I didn't get that many resources from him. Uh, so I did attack him, I lost, and then he revenge attacked me. And, you know, look at, look at this. <laughs> Fifteen level six giants, ten, count them, ten level two witches. Seriously? So we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go through that replay and just see how badly I got owned here in this replay. So he's uh, attacking from the bottom, bringing in all those giants, and look at the witches. He just brings them in all at once. 
I mean, level two witches. What I think, uh, I think they're able to bring in three, three resurrected soldiers each. So you're talking like thirty, or or is it four, forty of these uh, <laughs> these freaking reanimated soldiers? Are you kidding me? In addition to the ten witches, in addition to all these level six giants, in addition to the dragon, and watch what he brings in—a level sixteen barbarian king. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. So yeah, combine that with the fact that I'm currently upgrading five of my defense structures, and uh, yeah, he's basically just gonna mow me over. So let's just watch the rest of this. Oh, uh, my poor base. No! Don't destroy it! Like, I'm not- I'm- I'm barely even- You know, I'm barely even making a dent in his attacking force. That's pretty sad to see, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? 14 seconds? Is, is he gonna 100% me? Yeah, I think so. But actually, if you look at it, I mean... Look what he had left. He only had, what, four witches and uh, his Barbarian King left. So, you know, not, I don't know. I think once um, once I get everything upgraded, once all my defenses are upgraded, and I'm only working on either the Town Hall upgrade and or my Mine and Elixir Collector upgrades, I think I'm going to fare pretty well on defense um, with everything completely upgraded. So we'll have to see. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to, uh, take a look at some of the defense replays once all my defenses are in place and complete and seeing how well I hold up. So that's, uh, that's it for the defense side. Now I'm just going to run a, a, a live attack. Uh, again, all I'm looking for here, I just want some gold and elixir. I'm just looking for resources. Uh, I don't honestly care if I if I lose win or lose at this point. Obviously, ideally, I want to look for a, a base that I can that I can win, um, whether it be a fifty percent or the town hall. But uh, the first thing I do look for are the uh, the resource counts in the top left. Let's see what we can find here. It might be a while. Yeah, I mean, come on, I'm not going to waste my time with fourteen thousand gold and seven thousand elixir, right? And Dark Elixir. I mean, I'm still looking for that Dark Elixir, so I still need to get up to 10,000 in order to upgrade the minions in the uh, lab. And I want to use some minions. I mean, if if I do end up getting my Dark Elixir storage up to 20,000 before I'm, I get to Town Hall 8, then I will use some of the Dark Elixir in order to uh, train Dark Minions or the Minion Troops and uh, just try them out. So uh, here we got... Uh, yeah, we got some decent resources. Um, it's going to be hard to break into anything here. But uh, I do like the uh, Dark Elixir count, so I'm going to use my uh, my spells on the uh, Dark Elixir. So let's uh, bring in some... We'll bring in some uh, giants there. Take out the uh, gold storage and the uh, dark, the Elixir store or the Elixir... The gold mine and the elixir collectors. And then we'll do the same thing over here. I should... I should get in here and get some of this dark elixir storage. Or dark elixir drills, sorry. And then some more over here. And was there another dark elixir drill? Yeah, there was one up here. So we'll take that out. Oops, that was too many. <laughs> I sent in a few too many uh, wall breakers, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. So that's all I'm looking for. And honestly, he had most of his stuff in his storages, so I didn't get a whole lot out of the uh, out of the gold mines or the um, the elixir collectors. But that's okay. And we'll see how many uh, how much dark elixir we can get off of here. So bring in uh, three lightning spells. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, is there anything else we can really do here? I mean, he has some uh, some more gold, but we're not going to get a whole lot, so I'm just going to surrender. And, yeah, see, we didn't get a whole lot. It's kind of funny sometimes, because when you look at the, uh, when you look at the, the storages, it doesn't look like there is a lot of gold in the storages. So you're thinking, well, maybe the, the majority 
uh, of the gold and elixir because we're sitting over three hundred thousand. Usually, you can only get two hundred thousand out of the uh, the storages. So you're sitting here at. Uh, uh, but I mean, then you got to include the fact that I do have a percentage increase because I'm at a lower town hall level. Um, so my thinking was right there. You look at the storages. There's not much gold in them. You don't see it, you know, built up that much. So my thoughts are, well, it's going to be in the gold mines and the elixir collectors. Well, in this case, it wasn't. It was still in those mines in the uh, the storages, right? But on the uh, the the flip side, it's the dark elixir that I was I was after as well. And we got over a thousand dark elixir, and it's worth it at this point. Uh, yes, I'm using three. Lightning spells at 20,000 gold apiece, but it's worth it in order to get that Dark Elixir. Uh, I mean, I'd trade 100,000 gold if I could for 1,000 Dark Elixir at a time. So whatever, it's, it, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things. And I think when, when you go to attack, you got to consider uh, the fact that, you know, I'm a Town Hall 7 going versus a Town Hall 9. So that those counts for the, the possible resources that you can capture include that percentage uh, increase for the difference in the town hall levels all right so you know i wouldn't i wouldn't say it was a complete fail attack but it wasn't the greatest one in history either right um so that's it and tomorrow like i said i will bring to you guys uh some of those balloon attacks because they're quite effective the balloon attacks are quite effective i mean i'm at level uh level four balloons now I can't wait to get to level five because uh, we're going to see some some better uh, better um, increases in not only damage uh, that the the balloons can do, but also in the hit points available. And then with the uh, the upgraded rage spells, that's when I w really want to try running some uh, some attacks with the balloons. And when I get to town hall level eight, that's one of the first things I'm going to do in the lab once I upgrade my lab is to train my uh, balloons to level five. All right. So that's it for today. Again, the balloon tax tomorrow, and uh, we will have more for you uh, after that. All right? I'm Spider, and I'm out.